It is Saturday the 18th of June 2022. <coughs> I'm in one of our hen houses. Actually it's uh, the, the big hen house. And the reason I'm in here is because uh, we have yet another broody <coughs> duck. Uh, she's been settled down in the corner of this uh, hen house for a couple of days now. She keeps trying to brood the hen eggs that are laid here uh, and what we're going to do is actually give her some duck eggs and these were the duck eggs that were laid this morning. So we're going to give her four and we've marked them with a cross as you can see. Yep. Um, now the the problem with this duck is that she has been uh, uh, brooding uh, hen eggs, uh, which is no, no use to her uh, and no use to us. So uh, we've um, decided that uh, we'll uh, just put the investment in of uh, four eggs into this one uh, and uh, let her brood these herself. But the fact that they're marked means that when we check the eggs each day, uh, we'll know which have just been laid by other ducks or even other hens uh, and to remove them uh, and leave those that are marked with a cross. So there she is and she's probably going to hiss at me and get really angry with me but uh, I'm going to put the eggs in now. Uh, oh yeah, I can actually see two hen eggs underneath her. So well, actually it's three eggs. So I shall remove them and we're going to put the duck eggs in their place. Two, three, and four. And we'll just leave her to come back to them. We've kept ducks for about ten years now, and it was only last year that we actually experienced for the first time a duck going broody and it was one of the call ducks uh, and uh, she uh, nested under an old garage door down at the bottom of the allotment there she had five uh, ducklings hatch uh, unfortunately only one survived uh, but uh, this year <laughs> they seem to have been on brood overdrive uh, so uh, the, the, the useful thing about the, the ducks is that they tend to lay, except for this one that I've just been dealing with now, they do tend to lay in places which are out of the way and therefore not being used by other birds to uh, lay eggs. Because uh, when that happens the eggs tend to get broken. So it's okay to be able to leave the eggs uh, with the ducks. And unlike when we're breeding the chickens, um, we don't need to give the ducks uh, false or fake eggs. Uh, and then get some ducklings for them uh, when they're due to hatch. So uh, that, that's that's useful for the uh, with, with with the ducks. But I was looking at the price of uh, hen fertile hen eggs uh, this morning uh, from the supply we've often used in the past. Thirty pounds for half a dozen of Orpington hen eggs. Yeah, it was a staggering cost. Uh, the cheapest they had were about £15 for half a dozen. Uh, absolutely phenomenal prices. Uh, so uh, we've got some hens that need to have uh, chicks in a couple of weeks. Uh, and we weren't able to put any eggs on the incubator when they first went broody because we had quail eggs in the incubator, which are due to hatch this coming week. Uh, so uh, we're going to have to give these hens uh, something, so um, unfortunately that means going back to the supplier and uh, paying a fortune for more hatching eggs, or not hatching eggs, for more chicks. Uh, so uh, they're going to cost a fortune as well, so uh, the sooner we can get this operation up and running where we can completely rely on ourselves to um, breed the chickens, uh, the better. And there she is back on the nest. So 28 days and there should be hopefully four ducklings. 